hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to the raw unfiltered moment of balaji billions and i do not plan this video to be honest i'm in school trying to finish up my assessment i'm taking a one well, required break but i think uh, this video is a need so let me just set my phone because i think my tripod stand or anything so yeah well i want to first say thank you guys so much for the birthday wishes thank you for <laughs> thank you for always hyping me up um I'm always very transparent about my life and everything. In this phase of my life right now, I'm looking for an accommodation. So basically, I have been staying with a very wonderful couple that have been very good to accommodate. They, they do not know me from anywhere. They've been very good. They've been treating me like family and they've been accommodating me for the past three months. But it's time for me to move. Um, I have a house viewing sometime later this evening so i'm also in school doing my assignments basically um it's not been easy during a Lydia challenge and um, when pastor nato was like asked for something and everything i was just asking for god for an apartment money for the rent because it's one thing to get an apartment is another thing to have rent so i asked um god for that and god came true for at least rent in advance so god came true god also gave me like a flatmate i don't really know her from anywhere i wrote it on on instagram and then she signified and then we've been looking for the flat together now she didn't even find an pass and she's still in nigeria hopefully we get the apartment i'm going to check this evening because to be honest i really want the apartment <laughs> i really want to move by next next week and be settled before the new year um also um i also was praying for a job now one thing uh, we keep forgetting most times we keep forgetting what god tells us at the very beginning of a journey and i will tell everybody especially international students from nigeria that are coming from home and you don't have any um um how will i say it you don't have any <laughs> backup plan apart from god and your work ethic please stick to god it pays to serve god on friday last week today is 12th of january 2023 on friday last week um i was in tears on the bus why because i was mentally exhausted and mentally overwhelmed i was tired i had to make a decision so um, let me explain i work with um manchester united on match days so i only work when there is match yeah most times eight hours per match and everything and then as an international student you only have like 20 hours a week to work um i also work with lush but that's like an holiday job and it's ending in december this december then i applied for a job on uni terms which was content creation but that one starts in january and it ends in april i have the interview that's the in, the job i was in an interview for on my birthday um i have the second stage of the interview where i speak to the um the owner of the company and the cfo or something tomorrow and then there was now another job offer that uni times recommended me to they're like oh you don't need to apply you're qualified for it like and um then they offered us permanent roles at lush and i'm like i have only 20 hours lush is telling us oh we still need to do um like a we still need to go for an interview i love the work environment i've learned so much about consumer behavior working at lush i think to a certain extent and i've seen that lush has and that's one thing i love about companies in the uk lush has improvements for you to grow i met somebody that two years ago was a temporary person like me and this year is a manager like a supervisor is in the management team in two years same same another person was um uh 
I think another person was six months in the company is already in the on the management team. And like there's opportunity for you to go and most of them work there long term. I met somebody there 11 years, another person 13 years, another person 17 years. And I'm like, we don't have this in my country. Or even if you see it is very rare and you have to know somebody to know somebody to know somebody. And that made me realize that, um, yeah, there are the fake smiles in companies. I've, because I've worked with two different companies, I know that they're fake smiles. Actually, my they will fake smile at you you have to be very careful but it happens everywhere you just go there do your work and go follow peace with all men don't gossip about anybody at work just do your work and go and smile to people even me if i used to give fake smile mm. <laughs> because it's not every time i'm all right you don't even know what i'm going through guy but then the company culture especially at mine you guys if you see the food we used to eat um the, sorry the lunch pack they give us sometimes i take you home and i feel like they give you guys i'm like yeah this sandwich i don't have to finish it so i have chocolate we have chocolate we have fruit we have drinks we have either a sandwich or a hot dog we have um what else do we have what else do we have then we have water we have biscuits we have um chips and everything like it's always full <laughs> and and I take it home sometimes and sometimes I have like packs in my in my room. I think I still have an Oreos that I'm not eating. I have some big skits that they give us at work that I'm not eating. I always eat the chocolates though. But then the company culture here, even at mine, you even at Lush. And then you know, in terms of applying for a job and then they're telling you, Oh, you're qualified for this other job, we've already recommended you. They don't do that in Nigeria. I must I've not heard them do that like qualified for this job we were already recommending and i already applied they already applied they're like oh no need to you were qualified we already put you forward with the clients you just need to do the tax and submit i did that already sure she just made me realize on that friday that i prayed about this thing the reality actually <laughs> the god factor that's another one another one down to see is i was calculating my school fees in naira with the normal black exchange, black market rates. And I saw how much God has helped me to pay in Naira. So, with that money, I will buy, I will buy a car. I will be on the way to buy a house. If you're an international student, or you don't even have to be an international student. See, there's, if you are, if there's somebody to pray, there is a God to answer. So, God has indeed been faithful. I know you will say to my apartment, I will come back to testify. I will do a video by of how my apartment looks like. Um I would I would testify that God has indeed been faithful. Um I just want you guys to never forget that you need the God factor every step of the way. All the days of your life, you need God. <laughs> you need Him more than anybody else. You do. Um, Vlogmas is going to start once I finish submitting my assignment on Friday. Cause I need to submit my assignment before I can concentrate on anything. I thought being a full-time content creator and being a full-time student was gonna be easy. jokes on me but anyways this is just a raw unfiltered video of life updates i'm gonna post this first well if, I, if you've seen it i finally made up my mind to post it if you don't see it well <sighs> i'm going back to work please don't forget to subscribe tell people about my channel and most times please i'm always begging you guys to always leave comments on my videos i got a lot of views but can we do 1000 comments <laughs> like i'm looking for the video i'll get 1000 or maybe 500 comments yeah like possible right all right guys 
on a serious note. Bye-bye.